Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jimbo and today we're going to be talking about this product right here. This is the super speedy foamer. This is, I picked it up at AutoZone and what I was just curious as I kind of perused the aisle at all these auto parts stores uh, looking to find ideas, video ideas and, and things like that. Um, I came across this foamer and I'm like, you know what? I wonder if it actually works. Now in the past I've done one, a cheap versus expensive foamer. Um, and the reason why I picked it up was in a pinch as a mobile detailer or even a professional detailer, sometimes we don't have the day or two uh, available to us to order a tool or a part. We need to have availability to go get it right away. That's why I focus so heavily on the, on the cheap versus expensive and a lot of the uh, spray waxes and sealants that I do on uh, retail versions of them because I want to find what works for a professional in a pinch. So that's what we're going to try to find out today is this foam cannon in a pinch uh, going to be a good viable option. It was $45. So not as expensive as like the, um, the MTM cannons that'll range up closer to a hundred, but also not as cheap as some are on Amazon, even though it kind of looks like the cheap foam cannon. So I'm going to show you what comes in the kit. We're going to take it outside. we got a car and see if it actually works. So all that and more coming up. All right, so let's see what we got going on in the box. We have the bottle, the tube. Come on. We have the, what do they call this part of it? They call it the valve feature. Actually feels really stout, feels really good. Instructions, I believe these are the instructions on how to put it together and how to make it work. And then this is actually something that I, I've never seen in any of the other foam cannons I've gotten, the cheap ones on Amazon, the MTM one, and that is just the tape to seal it so that you don't get any leakage. So I wonder if that was a common complaint that they saw um, that they leak. So they, they give you some tape to wrap on there. And that's all that comes in the box. So I'm gonna fill this up with water first, and then I'm gonna actually add a couple ounces of the Meguiar's Wash & Wax Carnuba because it foams really well. And that's a little tip in and of itself. Don't fill it with soap first, because then as you add water, it's the soap is gonna foam in the cannon part. Fill it with water first and then add the soap and then you could shake it. So that's what I'm gonna go do now. And then we'll take it outside and see if it foams. Ready? All right, so tell me what do you think before we start foaming? Do you think it's gonna foam or not? Or do you think it's gonna be a dud? No, I'm talking to the camera. Oh, <laughs> All right, so I mixed it up. I have about three ounces of the Meguiar's foam. Okay. So you, is this too close? So it has all the adjustments to adjust how much foam you actually want coming out. I'm gonna turn it all the way up so we have the maximum amount of foam. I'm running an electric pressure washer and then this uh, shaft is how you adjust the fan of the foam. So you can have it wide like that, or you can kind of narrow it in. But as you can see, it foams a crap ton. It helps to have a foaming soap, but you can see that even with an electric pressure washer, uh, normally in the past I used gas, but I've recently switched over to electric, which you normally get a little less power out of, but you can see how well it foams. Pretty impressive. Awesome. Love it. All right, so as you can see behind me, this works incredibly well. So if you're looking for a new foam cannon and you don't want to wait a couple days to buy one on Amazon, you can just go down to AutoZone or your local auto parts store and pick up a foam cannon that looks just like this. If you have the attachment for your pressure washer like this, you're good to go to plug and play. For 45 bucks, I will say it's a little bit on the higher end of a foam cannon that looks similar to this. I think you can get one on Amazon for about 17. But again, the whole purpose of this video and this exercise was to uh, see it, you know, if you're out working and your foam cannon breaks or you drop it off the top of an RV and you need to go out right away and get a replacement, is this a viable replacement? And you can see behind me, it's definitely a viable replacement. So two thumbs up for this one. And there you go.
Let me know your thoughts, feelings, and emotions in the comments below, and I will catch you guys on the next video. See ya.